Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Trishang, and I make content on beauty and skincare. And if that seems like your thing, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss all about chemical exfoliation, especially for someone starting out who's never dipped their toes into the whole pool of chemical exfoliation. This video is for you. Sorry, my hair is a mess, so we're just going to pretend like it's not there. Uh, yeah, I feel much comfortable. What we are going to cover in today's video is what are chemical exfoliants what's the difference between different exfoliants product recommendations how to layer actives with the exfoliants and lastly just tips and tricks before you start off i have normal skin more leaning towards dry what that means is that my skin changes according to the weather so during the summer season my skin produces oil not too much around the t-zone but that's also when i have skincare on so i don't know if it's the humidity or if it's my skin but my skin does get oily during the summer uh and the rest of the year it's pretty normal it gets extremely dry in the winters though but uh yeah like i said it just changes according to weather Starting off, what is exfoliation? Exfoliation is a process where you remove the dead skin cells off the topmost layer of your skin. There are two types of exfoliation. One is physical exfoliation and the other is chemical exfoliation, which we're going to shortly talk about. Physical exfoliation are all your face scrubs that we've been using for all these years, like your St. Ives apricot scrub or your Foreo, the machine that you use to cleanse your face. Those are all physical scrubs. They basically do the same thing. Uh, but what happens is sometimes the ingredients used in these scrubs are really abrasive for the skin and they can cause micro tears. Now, honestly speaking, when I was doing research for this video, I realized there is not much evidence to prove uh, the whole theory of micro tears, but I feel like better safe than sorry if it can do harm, might as well avoid it, right? So for example, the apricot scrub, the Saint Ives apricot scrub, that has the shell powder of the uh, the nut of the apricot in the center. So those are not properly grinded and sometimes they can be really pointy, which can harm your skin in the long run, longer run. Uh, so to avoid that, we use chemical exfoliation, which can be gentler and more effective. Now, this is not to say that all physical exfoliants are bad. The face shop Jeju Volcanic Scrub, I've used it for a very long time and the particles in those are really circular. So they're not pointy and they can't really cause harm. Now coming to chemical exfoliation, it's further divided into two types. That is AHAs and your BHAs. You must have heard of them. AHA is alpha hydroxy acids and BHAs are beta hydroxy acids. Now these are acids, but they are safe to use on the skin there will not burn your skin off like we usually think about acids. Chemical exfoliants are generally gentler than physical exfoliants. So starting off with AHAs. AHA is also very gentle and can be used by all skin types. Uh, it is water soluble. So what it basically does is it only exfoliates the topmost layer of your skin and removes all dead cells. Okay, like your physical exfoliants. So it gives you more of an immediate effect. There are multiple types of AHAs, but I'm going to talk about the two most renowned. One is glycolic acid and the second one is lactic acid. Now, glycolic acid is the one that's majorly used by most products and uh, it will have that as an ingredient. And lactic acid is a more gentler form of an AHA. So what are the benefits of AHAs? The AHAs, uh, like I said, exfoliate the topmost layer of your skin. They over time brighten your skin and also even out uh, your skin tone. So it's a great type of exfoliant to start off with. At least that's what I did. So uh, you can buy the Pixie Glow Tonic. That is what I started with. It has glycolic acid and it's a good way to just slowly integrate uh, AHA in your skincare routine. So these acids, they are, they're kind of strong, right? And if they have so many benefits, if not used in the correct way, they can also do damage. So just be careful and there's nothing to worry about. Like start with small percentages and you can just move upwards later. So say you want to start using AHAs in your skincare routine. What products do you buy? Like I said, the first one, the Pixie Glow Tonic, a great toner to use. Uh, then I have also tried the Dot & Key AHA Exfoliating Sleeping Mask. So this goes at the end of your skincare routine and this is more like a mask. Uh, considering that you can keep it on for a longer time, the percentage on this is very low. So it's a good one to start off with. Moving on to BHAs. BHA is beta hydroxy acid. And you remember how I said, AHA is water soluble, BHA is oil soluble. So what it does, it goes deep down your pores and cleans 
underneath your skin. BHAs are for people who break out, who have acne marks, uh, who have blackheads, whiteheads. It's just great to get rid of all of that uh, because it is salicylic acid. And salicylic acid, you must have definitely heard, that is an amazing product to get rid of acne. It goes deep down into your pores, cleans all the sebum and uh, prevents breakouts. My product recommendations for BHA, uh, the one that I've used is the Cosrx Gentle Salicylic Acid Cleanser, I think it's called. I used it long back, uh, but at the time, I realized that I wasn't breaking out too much and I thought I didn't need it so I stopped using it and I went to a milder cleanser but even this one is gentle it's very nice to start off with uh, a very low percentage of BHA so that should be good the second one is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA exfoliant now that is something that I haven't used but I know someone very close to me who uses it and loves it uh, so yeah, that is also a great one to start off with. The third one is the Ordinary's Salicylic Acid Serum. It's 2% BHA. I actually used it at the time that I didn't even know that I was using a chemical exfoliant. Like I just thought that I was breaking out and I needed salicylic acid. Uh, this was way back um, and I called for it. So that I know is a good one. The alternative to any ordinary product is the Minimalist. I honestly haven't tried this Minimalist salicylic acid, but whatever I have tried for Minimalist, it's not been the worst. The, the products are decent, I will say. So I guess you could try that, or if you can get your hands on the ordinary, nothing like it. But if you come to me and say, bro, like I can't use AHA first and BHA first, is there some way that I can integrate both into my skincare routine together? Yes. I used to use the Cosrx AHA BHA toner that also has a very less percentage of both so it's a great toner to start off with because you can use it daily the second one is the dot and key hydro peel glow potion now this has 10 percent aha and 2 percent bha which is comparatively lesser than what other products are available in the market i have done a full review on dot and key versus in the ordinary products you can go check that out i'm going to link it somewhere here uh, but when it comes to this in my review uh, I did say that it has a lot of fragrance which I still stand by uh, and the whole dot and key range just broke me out in the beginning but I think it was more of the hyaluronic acid I don't think it's that bad because I know a lot of people who love this one uh, my friend Simi she does YouTube you should check her channel out she loves this product so uh, I don't think it's half bad coming to the star product which is known worldwide the ordinary is 30 percent aha plus two percent bha now this is a very high concentration of the chemicals used do not start off with this this is extremely potent at least for something that you get over the counter this is the strongest one that you can find how i apply it is uh, I first cleanse my skin okay use a very gentle cleanser I cleanse my face uh, and get rid of all the dirt that has accumulated on my skin since uh, the whole day after which I pat dry my skin completely so just make sure your skin is completely dry and then go on uh, with the solution drop it all over your face rub it and keep it for no more than 10 minutes and then just wash your face with cold water after which up, do your skincare routine but do not include any actives in them. These acids are actives. So what actives do is they fasten the process of cell regeneration. So all the gunk that's sitting at the bottom of your skin comes on top. So you might face purging. Purging uh, may seem like acne but it's not. It won't have pus. There will just be bumps on your face that will settle down in a week or two. I started off using the Pixie Glow Tonic at a time when I didn't even know what actives were. I didn't know it had glycolic acid. I didn't know what, act what glycolic acid did. I bought it because other people were talking about it. Uh, and luckily enough, even if I did go through purging, I did not realize it and it worked great for me. I did not face any side effects. Then I moved to the Cosrx, not, not during that time, but much later, I started using the Cosrx salicylic acid cleanser. So my skin has dealt with both. And even though I started with the Cosrx AHA BHA toner much later, I think my skin knew what it was. I, I don't know if that's how it works, but I personally did not face any uh, problems after that. Uh, after using the AHA BHA toner uh, from Cosrx, I moved to the Dot and Key uh, peeling solution. But now I'm finally using the Ordinary's AHA BHA peeling solution and I absolutely love it. Now this is also a mask that you should preferably apply only at night because 
actives make your skin extremely photosensitive you will have to amp up on your sunscreen the next day it's not even an option like you just have to now, i know the ordinary is not available in india so i did try the minimalist uh, aha 30% plus bha 2% solution which is exactly a copy of the ordinary when they received a lot of criticism on the internet they then reformulated all their products i don't know if they did it for all but at least this one now it comes with aha 30% uh, plus bha which is also like an AHA what I read on the internet and plus a BHA 2% so you can try that one I tried this one honestly it doesn't compare to the ordinary one but it's decent coming to how to layer other actives with AHAs and BHAs this is very important niacinamide niacinamide is pretty stable it goes with all skin types you can definitely use it after your AHA BHA peel or uh, any other product that you're using retinols uh, i don't use any retinol product but uh, with retinol it's a whole it's a whole other ball game you also have to start those with a lower percentage these are very strong actives so retinol and uh, aha bhas don't go together do not use them right after your chemical exfoliant hyaluronic acid serum this is the most stable ingredient you can use it's an active but can be used by all skin types it doesn't really exfoliate your skin or doesn't do something complex so you can definitely use a hyaluronic acid serum after your peel now some say that you cannot make mix hbhas with vitamin c because it can not work well together so i've stuck to that some say that it can but you know why take the risk i have unknowingly used the clairs 5% vitamin c before and honestly i didn't see uh any negative effect on my skin so it worked fine but uh, do not risk it do not use vitamin c uh, after your aha bha peel unless you want to go and try with a lower percentage like the clairs one uh, i think it's safe to use i've tried it which is why i'm telling you but if you use a higher percentage of uh, vitamin c uh, i would say avoid it before we end this video i'd just like to add some tips start off your exfoliants slowly into your skin care so when you're using toners or cleansers which have a very low percentage of uh, ahas even start off those like alternate days try see how it works on your skin how your skin accepts it and then you can continue using it for the day uh, after which when you move on to uh, higher percentages like the ordinary peel or the minimalist peel that's 30% aha and 2% bha try them for once a week okay then for four weeks do it once every week and slowly move it up to two times a week you can use it for two to three times a week but i would just suggest to be safe just use it two times a week it's good i use it two times a week and i see good results tip 2 is always go with hydrating products after so your hyaluronic acid serum or a very rich moisturizer do not use products that have other aha or other actives in them because that will just meddle with your skin do not do that tip number 3 is the most important one do not rub your face or physically exfoliate it before using a chemical exfoliant it's not supposed to sting that badly you are only supposed to apply it on dry skin so if your if your skin's wet also it will sting that's also another tip within a tip so that's it for today's video you guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any feedback to give or any video ideas to give me um drop them in the comments down below if you found this video helpful then share it with your friends and lastly just subscribe to my channel uh yeah i'll see you in my next one bye